Thank you. Well, you don't have to wait until the 4th of July to get your patriotic spirit flowing this Sunday. Let it shine at the USO Tribute Cincinnati's 10th anniversary show. Here with more details, we've got John Morris Russell, Cincinnati Pops conductor, and Mike Logue, USO Tribute Cincinnati committee member. Guys, it's going to be a busy weekend, but a great weekend, sounds like. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, the celebration has been going on for uh, 10 years, and uh, for the first time, the Pops is, uh, is part of this great celebration and tribute to uh, the USO. It's going to be thrilling on Sunday. And I didn't know until speaking with you guys just moments ago how important this area is to the, to the USO and what you're able to raise year in, year out. During the past 10 years, the USO Tribute Cincinnati has raised over $4.3 million for the USO oh Metro. Goodness. That provides programming and services for wounded and are ill and their caregivers. At, uh, to provide healing at the Walter Reed National Medical Center in Bethesda, Maryland, where the average stays two years. So this is a hugely, hugely important benefit. Uh, Going to raise money for a great cause, obviously, and it got to be nice for you to sort of exercise those uh, that patriotic music muscle here in a non-Fourth of July yeah. setting. Well, you know, the Pops has always been associated with great American music, and this is such a perfect partnership. Yeah. So uh, we're going to be performing great patriotic standards. Ethan Bordnick, the <coughs> incredibly talented 12-year-old singer, uh, uh, songwriter, pianist. Uh, 12 years old! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Daniel Rodriguez, the, the, the singing tenor. Yeah. Uh, Kevin Osborne from Moving Out is going to be here, along with our pops. Uh, fantastic, some very uh, new arrangements, including the Cincinnati Fanfare. The <laughs> Cincinnati Fanfare, yeah. and a lot of people maybe don't know, you know that big statue sitting down at Sawyer Point is Cincinnati. Cincinnati, the citizen soldier. I mean, our, our city was founded uh, on, uh, on, the, on the concept of, of citizens who will go out to protect their nation, yeah. Uh, and uh, then come back and become uh, productive uh, citizens of our country. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is what the USO is all about, you know, bringing uh, our, our soldiers home, uh, uh, bringing them together, and, uh, and helping them uh, move forward in our society. Yeah, and really still such an important message to get out, all that the USO does. You mentioned uh, Walter Reed Hospital, but, but other programs as well. Uh, I was talking earlier about the, the wall that's coming uh, through town this weekend. The as wall well. at Heels will be in town at the Cincinnati Museum Center, so we're, we're bringing that here as well. Uh, so it's a jam-packed weekend for, for supporting the military. Absolutely. Now, what's the best way people can go about finding out about tickets and where they want to go and when they want to go there? What's the best, best way? Uh, US, go U ahead. <laughs> USOTributeCincinnati.com. Okay. And tickets will be sold out also for the tribute at the door. and They're $65. Excellent. I know that there was, there was a dinner, and that dinner is already sold out, which is great, but still you can get tickets to come and, and listen to the, uh, the symphony play. Yes, indeed. And it's a big weekend for the Pops as well. Not only USO Tribute on Sunday, but Michael McDonald. Michael Friday, McDonald! <laughs> Friday and Saturday oh! night of uh, Doobie Brothers, Steely sure. Dan, and, uh, and he's singing a lot from the uh, great classic Motown uh, uh, playbook. So it's going to be a fantastic weekend for Shine music. sweet freedom. Mm -mm. Shine a light on me. All right, going to be a great weekend. Uh, for more information, uh, you can go to the website mentioned or go to local12.com. We'll have that information there as well. Guys, thanks for coming in. Cheers. We'll be right back. Thank you.